So we're going to create an accounts payable um, overview. The first step um, in creating the accounts payable really is FB70. Um, you create a, an invoice back to the customer and I would use the customer 1000. My invoice date would be today's date and I'm going to be posting it to um, sales. Okay, so I'm going to be debiting my customer and creating my sales. So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use 999. I'm going to put a, a tax code as A1. And I'm going to try to balance the journal with 999, same amount. So with this amount, I can go back to my taxes. I can delete uh, my row and then calculate the taxes. It's going to calculate the taxes that are due by the customer. And I can look at the currency field depending on, you know, I'm, everything is new euro. So hard currency is USD. So it automatically translates that. If I have any notes, uh, you know, you can put that in the uh, notes section. And you can actually look at the, the taxes. And this is the recon account that we talked about, trade receivables. So it's going to be, uh, this recon account will be tied back to your GL account. And you can see the, the balances uh, of all the AR items in that particular GL account. And this customer has a payment terms of um, ZB01, which is going to be, um, you know, ZB01 is going to be 14 days, net net 15, net 14 days, sorry, net 45 actually, ZB01. Um, so there are also discounts actually. The customer pays in less than um, ZB01. The significance of this thing is you get a 3% discount. He pays in less than 30 days, you'll get a 2% discount, and typically it is 45 day net. So there are some discounts that are built in for called the early pay discounts. And if you have a, a payment method for the customer that you're expecting, you can put that into the payment method. Say if it is a check, you know, you can put the check payment method. Uh, and and then save this and you can do a simulate this particular transaction you can see you know the it's a debit to the customer credit to the sales account and well as the remaining amount it's going to the your output um, sales tax and you can save this particular document you can see this document has been created and I would go back to my FB03 and FB03 and I look at the document that, that we just created. We can look at both in the general ledger view. We can see the GL account here, the account receivable account, or you can see the sales account and the output account. You can also flip back to the entry entry view or the GL view. Either way, entry view and the GL view. You can also flip the currencies. You know, see for this, it should be the same group and local should be the same. It's all euro. So, and you can also look at the taxes here. It did calculate the taxes 15% uh, and then it booked it to the tax determination account 175 you know 000. so this document has been created and that's document number is you know it ends with a seven remember that so i'm going to now go back to accounting financial accounting accounts receivable accounts so this is fd 10 and i was looking at um, 1000 so it should show you in the in this period um, my total balance for that customer uh, is 1,713. Um, so I would go back, just the customer balances, I can display the line items, all open items for customer 1,000. So you can see the document 0007. That's the document I posted, 999. So 30, you can see the number 3075. The document I have for the customer invoice is DR. And you can see that is open. I can go back into that. I can go into the header. You can see that I was created by me. That was my ID. I created it using FB70. That's my entry date and that's my time here, but 228. Uh, and I used, uh, you know, reference keys, you know, the BKPL. So I know that I posted that today using document type DR, that date, and that was my document date 18.0007. Okay. So. How do you clear that right now? Let me keep this open here or it doesn't matter. We can come back um, to this transaction. So next document um, type is document. Um, this is going to be F document entry. And I go into incoming payment. Let's say customer sent you the payment and I would put in the date today. 
and I'm just gonna pick a bank account um, that I want the money to go into and I would put in the customer uh, account and the amount that I the customer the check that I'm trying to post is 999 and I would try to my goal is to tag that to that to that uh, particular item that has been open now all the line items have been selected my inbound my check is 999 but customer has 2.8 million dollars in open items I would select all I would uncheck it zero open item is assigned I will try to find my own document 999 that's the document you can see the date it was for today okay and I posted that today so I would highlight that account I would assign it um, to my um, account there's a discount amount for now I'm just gonna just take it out so I'm gonna try to match the incoming payment with the overall I'm gonna remove the discount uh, that I'm giving the, the customer and I'm just gonna go ahead and save it so now we created a document called you know 140004 I cleared that open item now so I'm gonna go out FB 03 so that's my document so it should say create an offsetting entry it was 01 now it created an offsetting entry called 15 which is an incoming payment for the same customer and it posted my um, debit to cash account over there so let's go back look at the um, line item different balances I'm going to say cleared items uh, are all postings with the posting date of today that is 30.05.2015 okay and you can see that the 999 with the, that that reference is now green which is cleared okay so these are the other clearing accounts where it's cleared and if you go into that you should see a clearing line item that was a document that we saw um, it cleared the line item so again if i if i can you know i can double click on this thing and go directly to the document you can see the same thing what we are looking at it cleared the document so you can clear this using um, manual payment using f-28 tag that to a, a, a um, an open item or you can go back to your um, cash side of it um, go back to your FSCM go back to your cash and liquidity forecasting cash management uh, incoming payments lock boxes uh, once you it's a file basically sent by through the bank that has the check number that has invoice number and the customer number gets posted automatically using FLBP and you can review that using FIBA transaction basically here it will show you all the um, logbox transaction invoices that are posted and you'll see the open items uh, over here if it is you know green means it's posted yellow means it's kind of you know pending to be you know posted uh, and if it is if he has a if the customer created a, a less than a, you know invoice payment you can you know create a dispute case for that um, so it's you're referring you're creating a disputed item with reference to that particular invoice and it creates copies all the invoicing data and creates a dispute case for you and assigns a dispute manager uh, and then you'll go to the workflow to a, a particular dispute um, you know manager dispute you know, dispute coordinator and you can set the priority as very high I means somebody's going to be looking at it and trying to resolve that dispute he will investigate the dispute and see what is this all about either you have two options you'll close the dispute means the customer still has to pay or he will write off saying accept um, the dispute and say I'm just gonna give you a break because my quality of my product was bad or I, I really did not send you you know right product he's just gonna you know adjust the invoice and then write off the remaining of the balance and if the dispute is that the customer owes the money and then customer deal didn't pay it's gonna go back to collections so the whole the entire record it's gonna go back to the collections manager now so he has the record invoice the check the payment everything all the records you can see you can upload the documents here as well there's a document manager where you can upload the, the documents into the into the system so it's kind of waiting um, at this point um, 